Time right now is 6:14. WJTB 12 is focused on getting your kids ready to go back to school this week. Yeah, and this morning we're joined by Stephen Brown. He's with Get to College. It's a local uh, organization here, and they're always helping students, especially seniors, on that last year preparing for college. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you all do at Get to College? So Get to College is a nonprofit college planning agency. So we help Mississippi students plan and pay for college. Yeah. We have three centers, one in South Haven, Jackson, and Ocean Springs. We serve the entire state. Wow, and it's very important though that students know what they need to do to in order to prepare. A lot of students getting ready to go back to school. Now, seniors, what are some tips that you would give seniors on what they need to think about this year? So first of all, for seniors specifically, the FAFSA application, the free application for federal student aid will open on October 1st and they need to get that finished. Honestly, the early, one of the earliest deadlines is uh, March 31st for a lot of state grants. Mm -hmm. So they need to complete that. Yeah, sure. you, in order to get any kind of financial aid, you have to complete the FAFSA. Not have to, but okay. it's highly, highly recommended. They're really shortchanging themselves if they don't take advantage of it because it's not used only for federal aid, but also some state aid programs and even scholarships from the school that they're attending. Okay, talk about the importance of going to visit these schools and to get form a relationship with the recruiters there. Absolutely. So visiting the college campus makes it so that the students aren't just going in blind because I tell them all day you might see somebody look one way in person and totally different on Snapchat or Instagram and colleges are essentially the same way don't just trust the brochures but go see the school on a specific date up close you can get an idea of what it's going to be like yeah. and honestly most of these school districts will allow seniors to take at least two visit days so they get an excused absence to visit a college campus and get a closer look and also, um, it's important to build that relationship with their admissions counselor at the school. So if they have any questions about scholarships, um, application requirements, anything else like that, they can talk to that one person. And if they need help getting in touch with that recruiter, mm -hmm. they can just contact our office and we can put them in touch with them. Now, the majority of time, there is money available out there because you look at a college education, the cost is just astronomical these days, but there is help for almost everyone, isn't there? Absolutely. There are definitely ways where students can go to college for free mm -hmm. as long as they understand that they're taking the right path to go in there. For some of our students that do qualify for a full financial, federal financial a benefits like the Pell Grant, a full Pell Grant is $6,195. So if you are planning on going to a community college, for example, one of our 15 community colleges, the tuition is right around 3000 give or take a couple hundred. You could be getting paid to go to school and, and get the exact same classes as you would anywhere else. And you definitely want to complete that net price calculator in order to figure that out, right? Right. I don't think everyone knows that, but every college's website is mandated by law that they have to have something on there called a net price calculator mm -hmm. that will give them a full breakdown of this is approximately how much the school will cost for one year so they can see how much financial aid they'll need. All right, students, remember that. Also, you want to make sure you apply for at least three colleges. Apply to at least three schools. Give mm -hmm. yourself some options. Uh, and honestly, I would look at different types of schools, like mm -hmm. even a school that may be more expensive that you don't think you get into, you never know what you may qualify for. A fit school and then one that you're pretty sure you could get in and pay for. All but right. just give yourself options. Well, you never know. You never know. Also, be very aware of those deadlines. Oh, you got to have it. Yeah. You have to pass it. Thank you so much, Steven. Oh, yeah, absolutely.